empower me. Wow. Wisdom over wounds. August 9. Prayer in the Father's hearing. Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. John 11 verse 41. When the Son of God prays, he is mindful and consciously aware of only his Father. God always hears the prayers of his Son. And if the Son of God has been formed in me, Galatians 4.19, the Father will always hear my prayers. But I must see to it that the Son of God is exhibited in my human flesh. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 6 and 19. That is, your body is the Bethlehem of God's Son. Is the Son of God being given his opportunity to work in me, in you, in us? Is the direct simplicity of his life being worked out in me exactly as it was worked out in his life while here on earth? When I come into contact with the everyday occurrences of life as an ordinary human being, is the prayer of God's eternal son to his father being prayed in me Jesus says in that day you will ask in my name John 16 verse 26 what day does he mean he is referring to the day when the Holy Spirit has come to me and made me one with my Lord. Is the Lord Jesus Christ being abundantly satisfied by your life? Or are you exhibiting a walk of spiritual pride before him? Never let your common sense become so prominent and forceful that it pushes the Son of God to one side. Common sense is a gift that God gave to our human nature. But common sense is not the gift of His Son. Supernatural sense is the gift of his son and we should never put our common sense on the throne the son always recognizes and identifies with the father but common sense has never yet done so and never will our ordinary abilities will never worship god unless they are transformed by the indwelling Son of God. We must make sure that our human flesh is kept in perfect submission to God, allowing Him to work through it moment by moment. Are we living at such a level of human dependence upon Jesus Christ that his life is being exhibited moment by moment in us. Wow. A simple word. 
wisdom over wounds. Prayer in the Father's hearing. John eleven forty one. Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. Father, today I thank you that you are hearing us. I thank you today, Father, that we are beginning to know that you hear us. We're beginning to know and understand that Jesus has come to live and reside inside of us. Oh, happy day. Since Jesus Christ washed my sins away. I thank you, Lord, because I began to pray like Jesus Father, you always hear my prayers, and I know you do. Now, what happens after that is attached to many different things. Did you pray in faith? Did you believe that you will receive them? I have a list of things I could go down and ask you. What happened after you prayed and you knew that God heard you? Father, I thank you that you're bringing wisdom to our eyes and to our minds. That we will have a better understanding of you and who you are and what you do concerning your children. You said you hear us. And Father, we believe that we receive in the name of Jesus. Father, help us to be conformed and transformed into your image. Father, help us to see that the Son, your Son, is exhibited in my human flesh. Our bodies are your temple, O oh God. And we should be operating as though we know that we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Father, whoever's listening to me today, if they have not accepted you as their Lord and Savior, Father, we ask that you would come into their life today. If you want the Lord to come into your life today say this along with me Father I know and I believe that you are real and that your son Jesus Christ shed his blood died on the cross and rose again that we might have life I ask you to forgive me Lord For all of my sins, known and unknown, I repent, Lord. Help me to turn and run and walk the opposite direction. I believe that you have come into my heart to live and to reside in me this day. No other force has a right from this day forward to live or dwell inside of you. Once the Holy Spirit comes in to reside, no other spiritual being has a right to come in to dwell in your temple. God, I thank you because you are so wonderful that you sent your son that you would give me a chance just a chance. Some of us have so many things inside of our heart and we ask for just a chance. For whoever's listening to me today, God, 
is giving you a new chance, a new start. He's wiping away all of your tears, all of your brokenness, all of your sadness in the past. Lay it at the altar of the feet of the Lord. Father, I thank you. I want to give you an opportunity to work in me. This is a simple thing you said. People have made it so hard. But you said in your word, I've made it so simple that even a fool cannot err. I'm not talking about religions and religious names. I'm talking about surrendering to the Heavenly Father. We ask in your name that you give us another chance. Give me another chance, oh God. I want to walk before you. I want my mind to be restored. I want my life to be restored. But I want it to be restored in you. Father, I won't try to use my common sense and figure out everything. But I want your sense to operate inside of me. I know common sense is just a natural thing. But God, I ask that you would allow your supernatural sense, which is the gift of your son, to come inside of me and to dwell and to live inside of me. Father, and I want you to take my ordinary abilities and cause them to be your supernatural abilities. Father, we surrender the flesh to you that you might lead and guide us. Show us our direction, Lord. Give us strength today. Be with us today. I'm thankful today. Are you thankful today? I'm thankful because you hear us. And I thank you that in this prayer, we know that you are listening to us. Heal up the broken heart right now. Lift up the sad head right now. Any and all thoughts of suicide, we beat that thing down. Just like these drum beats on here, we beat that thing down. The devil is a liar. He cannot have you. You belong to the Lord. Dying is not going to give you any kind of peace that you thought you would find. So many people have just died. In hell, they lifted up their eyes, having died without repenting. Father, I thank you for repentance today, your servants, your children. We have repented before you today. And Lord, I ask that you be with us. Give us direction. Give us the ability to get up and walk where we couldn't walk before. And I'm not talking about physical walk. I'm talking about spiritually. Walk into the power of the Lord. Right now. Walk into the power of the Lord. Walk into the power of the Lord. God will walk you in there. Walk into his power. Walk into his strength. So that you will no longer be bound, says the Lord. And Father, I thank you today. This was just a simple word. Wisdom over wounds. Lord, empower me. 
subject today was praying in the Father's hearing. Luke 11, 41. Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. This daily word is not to tickle your fancy, but to stir up something inside of you to set you free and to loose you from the bonds and the oppressed of the enemy. God, give us peace today. Thank you for always hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name. This is Sister Barbara. May the Lord be with you today.